the lesson on beatitude, poor in spirit. In this catechesis on the first beatitude, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Pope Francis said, there is a poverty that we must accept, that our own being, that of our own being, and a poverty that we must seek instead from the things of this world. Jesus' way to happiness begins with a paradoxical proclamation, a strange object of bliss. So we must ask, ask ourselves what is meant by the word poor in the phrase poor in spirit. Matthew's use of the expression poor in spirit shows us that Jesus is not talking simply about economic poverty, but of a spiritual understanding of our poverty. Those who are poor in spirit are those who are and who feel themselves to be poor, beggars in the depths of their being. This is contrary to the message of the world, which tells us that we have to make something of ourselves. This attitude leads to loneliness and unhappiness because it sets us in competition with others so that we live in obsessive concern for our own ego. Jesus, though, tells us that to be poor is an occasion of grace and he shows us the way out of the fatigue caused by trying to hide our limitations and feelings. We must remember, though, that we don't have to transform ourselves to become poor in spirit, because we are already poor. We are all poor in spirit. We are all beggars. The kingdoms of the world, possessed by those who have wealth and comfort, are kingdoms that end. The power of human beings, even the greatest empires, pass and disappear. On the contrary, it is the one who knows how to love the true good more than himself who truly reigns. This is the power of God, and this is how Christ shows himself to be powerful. He knew how to do what the kings of the earth could not do, to give his life for human beings. And this is true power, the power of fraternity, the power of charity the power of love, and the power of humility. This is what Christ did. The true freedom lies in this, the one who has the power of humility, of service, of fraternity, is free. The poverty praised by the Beatitudes lies in the service of this freedom. Pope Francis concluded his catechesis by saying, We must always seek this freedom of the heart, which has its root in the poverty of our souls. Next week, blessed are those who mourn.